close your eyes. Imagine the year is 1883. A crisp winter morning greets the Norfolk Southern Railroad as it embarks on its first journey from Norfolk, Virginia to Elizabeth City, North Carolina. The locomotive chugs along the track, billowing steam into the chilly air as it makes its way south. As the train rolls on, you can almost smell the scent of fresh pine and cedar. Evidence of the lumber products the Norfolk Southern was well known for, transporting. The railway's impact on eastern North Carolina's rural counties was unparalleled, promoting industrial development and connecting agricultural goods to brand new markets. But the railroad's journey wasn't without its challenges. By 1907, a five-mile trestle loomed ahead, stretching over the Albemarle Sound. The cost of constructing it was astronomical, with the trestle's final price tag exceeding a million dollars by 1910. Unfortunately, the Norfolk Southern couldn't maintain the trestle properly, and it collapsed in 1957. It killed two crew members, and it dropped a train directly into the Sound. The tragedy was a grim reminder of the challenges that come with operating such a massive transportation system. Despite the difficulties, Norfolk Southern continued to expand, acquiring other railways and connecting Norfolk to Greensboro via Raleigh. And by 1961, the company's headquarters had even moved to Raleigh, North Carolina. By the early 2000s, the Norfolk Southern had grown into a massive holding company, managing not only the railway, but also telecommunications and natural resource companies. The corporation had even expanded into Canada and the District of Columbia, with rail networks now spanning across 22 states. In North Carolina, the Norfolk Southern was a force to be reckoned with. Accounting for a staggering 43% of the state's rail network, its various lines span the state, connecting Tennessee to Spartanburg via Asheville, and Salisbury to Asheville via an east-west main line. Overall, the Norfolk Southern was a vital part of North Carolina's transportation infrastructure and a reminder of the incredible progress that's been made in connecting communities all across the world. In February 2023, a train derailed in eastern Ohio. It released toxic chemicals and forced thousands of residents to evacuate their homes. Lawsuits against Norfolk Southern are currently piling up. The people of East Palestine, Ohio, and the surrounding communities are facing an unprecedented array of health threats, ranging from chemicals that cause nausea and vomiting to a substance responsible for the majority of chemical warfare deaths during World War I. All these were being transported on the train at the time when it derailed and created a massive disaster. Norfolk Southern announced that it's going to create a $1 million fund to help the community recover, calling it a down payment on a commitment to help rebuild. These are interesting things with JC.